John the Viking Mauser here with the Get Strong or Die podcast. Today my guest is Tony Frugia. How are you doing today? Uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, it's very hot here in Malta. <laughs> but this, uh, I'm alright, not bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, how long have you uh, been in Malta? I've been in Malta for for over ten years. I was originally always brought up in, in in England. I lived in in London, and we lived in the southwest of England in Weymouth, Dorset. And uh, when I was about fifteen, I, I came to I, I I moved here with my my family, and we've been living here ever since over ten years. But I'm I'm Maltese. I'm Maltese British, you know, mixed, mixed, but I'm Maltese as well. <laughs> oh, very cool. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so uh, I've been following your uh, your various social media pages for um, a while now. Yeah, we've been friends. I think about three years, isn't it, John? About yeah. three years, two, three years. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, right around there. Um, yeah. And uh, and and you've been doing a lot of uh, old time strongman shows. Yeah, I, I, I love it, you know, I, I love Old Time Strongman, because my my granddad got me into it, you know. Very cool. Uh, do you mind telling my us uh, how you kind of got started and all that? Oh, well, it's about, well, when I was little, like, I used to hear stories about my granddad. My granddad was a strongman, Old Time Strongman, and he used to do iron bending feats, uh, lifting cars, stones, you know. The stuff that I do now that that I try to do, <laughs> yeah. and uh, he he, I I heard those stories from my dad because my granddad was already passed away sadly by then, and uh, I I tried to do like him, you know, to to become a strong man and to do shows then and to do shows for charities and to help charities, you know, and to help people as well, do the shows and help people raise money for charity and stuff like that. <laughs> Very cool. What uh, what were some of the first feats that you kind of started, um, you know, practicing with? And, and uh... um, first, like I, I trained with stones mainly since I was since I was a little kid. You know, I I, I trained in lifting stones, and and from there I went to uh, you know like bending feet, bending spanners, nails, nails. I think I started with nails, and then spanners and. And then all sorts of stuff like uh, construction bars, iron bars, uh, like they used to do in the old world strongest man when they used to bend them on their necks. I don't know if you remember Kazmai and Kate, they used to bend the, the construction bars on their necks. Yeah, yeah. And I and I started, you know, from there to ripping phone directories and all sorts of stuff, you know, mm. driving nails through wood with my hands, it's all, all, all different. I try and invent as well now, like try and invent new stuff to to add to my shows and stuff. Yeah, very cool. I've seen um, I've seen lots of uh, videos from the shows and stuff, and uh, uh, you, you have a large variety of stuff, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. And, Thanks, John. Thanks. And uh, it seems like you do a lot of shows. About how many? Um, yeah. how, how um, many every every month, usually every month, I have a show. So about twelve. 12 a year and all the shows are for charity you know for kids with cancer for kids with disabilities you know people with terminal illnesses and stuff like that you know so it's like it's like my hobby and I do the shows you know to help people as well so it's the best of both worlds sort of thing yeah that's awesome <laughs> um, yeah so you've been you do a show a month um, how many uh, years have has have you maintained that kind of uh, pace I started in 20, not that long ago, 2015, I started, and I really, I really started doing them regularly the last three years, really, the last three years, or well, like 2016, I really started doing them once a month, but in 2015, I started. Very cool. Um, I, I would think that you're probably doing more shows than, than, uh. Most, if not all, other old-time strongmen. Then, yeah, yeah, it's um, 
the thing is, in Walker, there's, there's a lot of charities and they have a lot of events, you know, and they need performers like musicians or whatever. And they they call me up. They say, Tony, could you do something at the show? And uh, I mean, if I can, I, I, I agree to it and I and we go and do a show. Great. And as you know, I don't know if you know, like I'm, I have a teammate, Mr. Cool, with me. Yeah. Mr. Cool, we're like a we're like a tag team. Like sort of show we do we we do the show together. Mr. Cool is seventy years old. Oh wow! Now. But um, in his prime, he could lift with his teeth. He could lift one hundred and thirty kilos deadlift with his teeth, <laughs> with his teeth, with his mouth only. <laughs> so he was, you know, he was quite an incredible athlete in his time. You know? So how did you two uh, kind of link up, and how did you, how did you discover each other and figure out that you wanted to work together? I, I knew about him, you know, because it's a small island here. We know about, you know, each other. And um, I had a lot of people talking about him. And, that, and John the Viking Mauser here with the Get Strong or Die podcast.